My name's Dan, uh, I'm a vegan activist um, and I'm here today to bear witness to the animals that go into this place, tulip meats. Um, three and a half thousand pigs get slaughtered every single day of the week, Monday to Friday. Um, it's not a nice place in there, I've heard a few stories about it is um, they use a gas chamber to stun the pigs which causes them to burn in the throat in their eyes uh, causing them to thrash around for minutes then they hung upside down by the hooves they stabbed in the throat and then they dismembered and this is all within a short area so all the pigs can smell the blood they can they can sense the fear they can see everything that's going on they hear everything that's going on and it's not humane, no matter what anybody says, it's not humane slaughter. And these guys, they reckon that um, these pigs fall gently asleep. But as you know, if you go around the other side, you can actually hear the pigs screaming. And that, to me, speaks volumes. People are unaware of what happens to these animals. You know, they walk into a supermarket, they pick up packs of bacon, packs of ham, and it's just a commodity to them. They disconnect themselves from the fact that it is actually an animal. What we need to do here is show these people that this is what that bacon is, this is what it starts off as. It's not a commodity, it's a being. It's living, it's breathing, it's sentient and it's frightened and by standing here we're hoping that enough people will see that these these are not they're not food. Food doesn't cry, food doesn't scream, it doesn't have a face, it doesn't have a life. They're hiding behind the comfort blanket of Red Tractor, RSPCA approved and it means nothing, it means nothing to the animals at all. It's just that comfort blanket that makes people feel happy to do what they're doing when they inherently know it's wrong. As most people do know, they do know it's wrong, but because it says Red Tractor or RSPCA approved or it's organic or free range, it somehow makes it feel okay. But they've got no idea. They really haven't. We need tighter laws to protect the animals, that's what we need, and you know, people just don't see that because still too many see them as a commodity. They're not a commodity. And then you get people who, are, who say, oh, well, you know, what would happen to all the animals if we stop eating them? Well, we're not gonna turn vegan overnight, are we? Let's face it. So what's gonna happen? As more vegans emerge, there's less demand. So less, less animals get bred. And it will, they, will, they will just merge nicely together. All upside at the moment. We are here to bear witness because we don't want these pigs going into this place anonymously. 
they're sentient beings, they've got feelings, they've got they've got curves. We let people see what's happening and we try and give people that connection between that little pack of sausages you see on the shelves at Tesco, at Sainsbury's, at Asda, and we try and give a connection to what happens before that. The horror, the murder, the enslavement, the, the torture of these sentient animals that have been proven to be way more intelligent than dogs. It's not necessary, we don't need, we don't need meat to live, we don't need dairy to live, we don't need eggs to live. We want to get it out to the public, let the public see what's going on in here. Let the people see these, these beautiful creatures crammed into cattle wagons. That's why I'm here. I just want people to see what's going on. I want it stopped. I don't want this to carry on.